Welcome to Enpro. With Enpro, you can design and simulate energy systems for buildings and districts. The tool is often used in the early planning phase when you want to find the optimal selection and sizing of generation and storage units. If you would like to test Enpro, you can use a free demo license. We are also happy to give you a personal tool demo online. All right, let's dive into it and let me show you the most important functionalities. So on the landing page of the tool, we find um, the project overview uh, and we can create a new project here. Um, we have uh, three options. We can select uh, the district building or energy hub that you want to uh, simulate. Uh, a district would be uh, buildings plus a heat network plus an energy hub. Um, the building would be just a single building with uh, some demand profile, some usage zones and an energy hub. And the last option is only the energy hub module. So if you have on already your load profiles available, then you can also use uh, this last option. In case of the district, we have here uh, a few more options. So you can select um, which network you want to simulate, like a district heating network, a normal district heating network, or maybe lower X need heat network or a fifth generation district heating and cooling network. But you can also uh, simulate, um, yeah, decentral air source uh, or ground source heat pumps uh, or a microgrid even. Let's choose the uh, normal district heating network. I will briefly explain how it works. So on the first page, uh, you have the building overview. Uh, here you can define your buildings um, with a supermarket, residential building here, and we can define the uh, square meter, the usage zone, and uh, the building type, of course. Um, and we also have a database where you can uh, insert default values uh, for the demand. Um, and then we have a space heating, domestic hot water demand uh, for the heating. Uh, for cooling, we have uh, space cooling and process cooling. And for electricity, we have uh, usage electricity, so plug loads and um, uh, e-mobility. Uh, we can create load profiles with an hourly resolution and um, also define for the building um, which energy system do we have here. Uh, it could be only heat exchanger in case of a district heating network, but it could also be a, a, um, a heat pump. Um, so on the second page, um, we find the parameters for the heat network. So which temperature do we have? Uh, maybe we have a sliding temperature. Um, how do we define the losses? Is it just a loss factor or do we want to have a detailed calculation? Um, then we can insert uh, different um, network sections and calculate the losses in detail. On the last page, um, we find the energy hub. So here we decide uh, what, what options do we have to um, cover the heat demands. It could be a CHP unit, it could be solar thermal collectors, uh, could be PVT, could be electric heater, many different options. Um, and uh, depending on what we um, uh, activate here, the optimization will find the um, best and the cost optimal system. Um, of course, we have to define um, costs, so investment costs for the electric heater, for example, and uh, also electricity prices. Um, I don't show the, the rest of the workflow, but uh, then we would uh, design the system and we would simulate it. And we can even compare different solutions with each other and see what is the best, the best option um, regarding CO2 emissions or regarding costs, uh, depending on the use case. All right, that was the very brief overview uh, of the tool, uh, what you can do with it, uh, how does it work. Um, if you have questions, uh, please comment in the section below and um, we will try to answer them. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video.